So I was looking at the situation. All the things that have been going on the last, say, 15, 20 years. A friend of mine says, man, I can understand your situation because there are no jobs. There are ser seriously no jobs to be had. The people are being laid off by the thousands. I think that we're being corralled into the Amero. We're being forced into a North American Union. And I truly believe that I know who's doing this to us. Now, when you look at the situation, all these jobs are gone. People are pissed, people are tripping out, people are flipping all the way to the curve. And we don't have any money. The money's drying up. They gave the bankers money. They're giving the states money now, but they're still not giving the people money. If we are truly what fuels this world, then we need to be able to live. We need to be able to live without a credit card company calling you 15 times a day because you're two days late on a payment. That's ridiculous. I'm getting calls for $166 and I cussed the people out yesterday. I'm like, you know, you told me how much money it is. You told me that the bill is late. Why are you still fucking calling here? This is like the 15th fucking phone. I don't fucking call here anymore. Ever. Period. Fucking call here over $160. Come fucking get it. Come get the 166 motherfucking dollars. Come get it. That's the same damn company that he's got a whole shitload of money from the government. You squeezed me for $166 and the next motherfucker gave you out of my future? Gave you out of my future $7 million? I know who did this to us. It's the fucking special interest. Congress did this shit to us. You can blame the rich people. You can blame the, 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 the top percentile. We need to fucking blame ourselves to vote these sack of shit motherfuckers in there. Vote motherfuckers out of office. They give us the power to choose our jailers. They give us the power to destroy ourselves. And every time we vote on a law or a bill, it destroys the future. Because these motherfuckers pork bell the fuck out of it. They add shit on it. They do this, they do that. To keep the special interest going. Fucking U.S. automakers. They knew what the fuck was going down. They knew we couldn't sustain this gas economy. They knew it. So, in cahoots with the oil factories and oil barons and shit, the motherfuckers continue to make gas guzzling cars. The oil barons are happy because everybody's driving SUVs and then the price of gas goes up. They give us a stimulus package. I got my stimulus package at the time gas was $4.65 a gallon. Where do you think my stimulus package went? Right back to the fucking oil barons. And I don't drive an SUV. My wife do. Not me. And it's separation of family. The division within a household shit. That's governmental. We vote these people in to destroy us. Am I saying it's time to start a fourth political party? No. We need to start a fucking interest group. Because it should be in America's best interest to take care of Americans. But it's not. 
It's in America's best interest to take care of Israel. It's in America's best interest to take care of fucking Iraq. But it's not in America's best interest to take care of America. Vote these motherfuckers out of here. Until somebody can get up and say what needs to be said, we need to vote each and every one of these motherfuckers out here until we become the special interest group. Because if somebody can go up there and lobby, lobby is a word that they use for calling greasy and palm. See, lobby is a greasy and palm because somebody's going to come up there and grease somebody's palm that we voted in. Grease my fucking palm. Palm. Grease my hand up. Grease my pockets. So a plant can be built in this town to pollute the fucking water. If I was a politician, I would take all that crooked money and give it to the people. I would say, my fellow Americans, I have stole from you. Such and such company has given me X amount of dollars to do this and this and this and this and this and this. Here's the money. I'm sorry. And expose my... You don't see nobody exposing none of this stuff. America set out to destroy Africa. Where do you think they're getting them weapons from? I mean, Russian weapons in Africa the motherland of all humanity raped of all its resources and now that the genocidal fucking American tendencies has been shipped over there and here in America we have police killing citizens in the streets now I don't understand this I don't understand how we can be the most mighty country on the planet and we have all these corporations who guide us and control us and the corporations don't know that it's in their best interest to keep us alive and happy. Shut these motherfuckers down. Stop buying that shit. You want a shirt? You go buy the material and the fabric and make your own clothes. It's time that we start doing what they used to do. They used to can their own vegetables. Make their own beef jerky. How much does a box of chicken from KFC cost? And how much does a chicken at Food for Less cost? We got to stop this overindulgence. A movie used to be a treat. A fast food uh, a meal used to be a treat. And now it's every day. They say uh, McDonald's is booming in this economy. How can that be when the food is cheaper to cook for yourself? How, how can it be to where it's doing for yourself is totally irrelevant? I'm, I'm a big hypocrite. I'm sitting here and I haven't worked in a year and I'm fucking stressing. My fucking hair is falling out. It's fucking getting tired of this shit. And this is why people go kill their entire families. Suicides and oh. Suicide in the, in the military is highest it's ever been. Why? Oh, I think it's because of all these long deployments. I think they're just killing Americans and saying they're killing themselves. Ah, that's what I fucking think. And what what kind of motherfucker in their right mind want to go do six tours of duty? Somebody who need a job. I do not want to see our military ride on us. But I do want to see us do something. I want to see us shut these motherfuckers down. We don't need their products if they can't keep us alive. We don't need their products if they want to fleece us for our money. Money that we don't have. That they're going to create another trillion dollars out of air that we have to pay down. Our great, 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 great grandkids and the fucking almighty Amero will be paying this next fucking group of money off and we'll still be fucking broke. Here, here's a $600 stimulus for your motherfucking dumb asses. Ooh, and then we tax that. If you tired of this shit, pass it on. 